It's 1992 and my high school has just issued a no questions asked condom policy, which meant that if you wanted a condom, you could ask a teacher, any teacher, and they had to give it to you, no questions asked. I was a 16 year old bookworm and the eldest in my super cool posse. <sighs> We had embraced the awesomeness of being geeks before it was trendy. Our name, the Seven Dwarks. <laughs> now, we wanted to take risks, and that condom policy was our chance to show the school and our parents who was boss. But first, we had to approach a teacher. I would be the one to ask the questions. <clears throat> uh, uh, Miss H? Uh, we'd, we'd like some condoms, please. Okay, how many? We hadn't thought how many. Uh, five each? Okay. As she left the room, I could feel the hot glare of eyes on me. Cynthia, what are we gonna do with all those condoms? You see, what I forgot to tell you was that I went to an all-girls boarding school, <laughs> as in no boys. So by the time we had piled the condoms onto my dorm room bed, we were in a panic. What to do? Should we practice using bananas? Or should we wait until we actually had boyfriends? And how long did condoms last anyway? Confused, we sat down and watched MTV to think. <sighs> Just then, TLC's music video, I Ain't Too Proud to Beg, came on, and the lead rapper was wearing this killer shirt that said, unbutton my fly. And all three singers had condom wrappers clipped to their belt. Aha! What if we dressed up like TLC and wore the condoms to the public school dance we were invited to? <laughs> Instead of saying, I ain't too proud to beg. We could do a sex ed message like, if you want it, you gotta wear it. We would be so cool. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We confidently walked into that public school dance wearing unbutton my fly shirts with condom wrappers safety pinned to our jeans, <laughs> carefully so as not to puncture them and we were laughed at. And boys kept coming up to us with pickup lines like, I hear you ain't too proud to beg, or I got something to fill those wrappers. <laughs> Soon, my friends stopped wearing them, but I held out until I was followed to the girls' bathroom. I finally realized that wear it if you want it was an invitation to something I did not want. The next time I touched the condom, I was 22. Thank you. <laughs>